Hey, so one of the things we've been talking about lately in my masterclass is the types of problems that you have to solve as a business person who has customers, right? The reason your customers are coming to you is really because they're trying to solve a problem. This is one of the fundamentals of, of storytelling, right? We, we always know that a, a customer is basically seeking to solve a problem, fill a gap. Uh, uh, they have a goal in mind. Um, they basically have a, a current state where they're not completely satisfied with whatever the situation is. <laughs> and they're like, I need something else in order to be into my future state, right? I mean, that's the, the basic um, storytelling device is you've got your character. We talk about them as heroes uh, in, in my company, right? You, you've got your hero, the hero has a problem, the hero goes on a search or a quest to basically resolve that problem. And hopefully you uh, help them resolve that problem with your product or service, right? But here's the thing. A lot of times as marketers, we're a little bit too literal in terms of like, hey, you have a problem, let me give you my thing and your problem is solved, right? And so what, we, what I wanna remind you of today, is that there's really three levels of problem or goals. Those are just the inverse of each other that you're solving at any given time. Your hero has a goal, right? There's some sort of obstacle to them achieving that goal which creates the gap and your product or service fills the gap, right? Very simple. But there's three levels of gap that you really need to fill. There's the obvious one, which is if I need a hole, I need to go buy a drill, right? But it goes deeper, not to use the drill metaphor <laughs> too, too deeply, but there's also sort of internal and global problems. So here's the three types of, of um, goals that customers have. Look at my handy little device here. There's three types of goals that customer have. customers have. They have external goals, they have internal goals, and they have global goals. And what I mean by that is I, I used an example recently of my daughter who plays basketball and she needed some new basketball shoes, right? And so the, the obvious external goal was it's been a year, this new season is starting, since she's a growing girl, her shoes from last year don't fit her. And so the external goal is I need new basketball shoes. Simple enough, right? And so as a marketer, we might be like, have these great basketball shoes. I mean, they're for basketball. <laughs> you know, they, they've got, um, you know, cushion and laces and all that stuff. We start selling a shoe, right? But what is she really looking for? Because I guarantee you, and this actually happened, if you were just like, hey, here's your basketball shoe, use this one. She's like, um, no, that is not the shoe that I had in mind. What she really wanted, she had an internal goal of not just getting her functional need of a, sh of a new shoe solved, right? She had an internal goal, which is the, the shoe actually, it needs to look cool it need, and it needs to express her. Right, so she needed something that that would both be deemed by her friends as cool. So she's accepted for like, wow, look at your cool shoes. But it also needs to be an expression of her and what she wants to say to the world. So in there, there's an internal goal of needing, um, of basically looking for status. This this is a this is a, a universal goal, right? She's looking for status, like check out my new shoe, my new shoes, so that her friends will um, accept her and think she's cool. She's getting status, and there's also a need for self-expression, right? But I also want these shoes to kind of be representative of me. I don't want them to be, you know, they, they may be cool and be accepted by my friends, but if they're not really me, I don't want them, right? So, so she's got some internal goals, right? And then there's a third level of a global goal. And I'm just going to show you the, the way I kind of, re I remember everything um, visually. <laughs> so what I did was, you know, I've got my external goal that's a little box and I drew another box inside of it, which is my internal goal. I will never be a weather person because I ne never point in the right direction of my internal goal, right? So my internal goal is, or her internal goal in this situation was, you know, I need, I want some status because I want some cool looking shoes, but I also want it to be a self-expression of me, right? And so then what are the global goals? And, you know, global goals, 
they I kind of all resolve towards being sort of complete. Global goals are like, you're looking for belonging. We need that as humans. We need to belong. It's how we evolved, right? If we didn't, if we weren't somehow part of that pack and we were sort of lone wolves, we weren't going to survive for very long. So we all have, we all have a need for belonging. We also all have a need for like, personally for worthiness, right? I, I want to, I want to be worthy of this. I deserve this. And, and I want to be worthy enough to be accepted by a group. So that's, that's sort of a, um, another sort of universal goal. And so what we see is when, when you're thinking about solving people's problems, really, this is just a reminder to think past the external goal, right? So external goal, Hey, I need some basketball shoes, but I need some basketball shoes that are going to give me a level of status. So I'm accepted with my, my friends at school, right? That was the internal. And then even further, that's because I really just want to belong, right? Like I don't want to be a cast out. I want to belong. And I want to be worthy of being accepted by these, by my friends. So there's three, um, there's three levels of goals or three levels of problem that, that the buyer is always trying to solve. And so when you think about putting your sales message together, you know, I think about how do I speak at all three of these levels? If you do that, you're going to start noticing that you get different results. Why? Because the buyer is actually usually shopping for the internal goal, not the external goal. <laughs> That's the reality. They're, you, they, they don't sometimes understand that, that they have that global goal. They're usually shopping for the internal goal. And I'll give you the perfect example, right? My daughter's looking for shoes. We shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped and looked at a whole bunch of different types of basketball shoes. And, but at the end of the day, she's like, there were some that were extremely expensive or some that were extremely functional or they're the best type of shoe for her and her foot. But at the end of the day, she would not even try on a shoe unless she thought it looked cool. Right. That was, that was criteria number one. So that like, I need to self-express here. And then it was like, are these going to be cool with my crew? Right. So she was not just shopping for a shoe. She's shopping for acceptance and self-expression. So think about that next time you, um, Next time you go to sale, I'm going to give you one, one more example, you know, so, you know, people hiring consultants, right? What, any type of consultant, but right now, let's say you're hiring a sales consultant. Why would a company um, or, or a business owner hire a consultant, right? Well, number one, it'd be like, um, I need more business. That's the obvious external goal. What's internal? Well, as a business owner, uh, I don't want to feel like a failure. Like I, I need my, my business to survive. I even have status reasons. I started this business with the intent of it being successful. Right. And so I don't want to look like a failure. So I, you know, I, I need success. I need more business, not just because I need more business. I really just don't want to fail at my business. Right. That's the internal goal. And what's the global goal? Usually for business owners, it's something like, you know, I want to be in charge of my own destiny or, I want to provide the type of life that, that I dreamed of when I was a kid, when I was pretending and imagining, you know, my imagination told me I could have that life. Like, I, I feel like I'm capable of that. I have the potential for that. Like, I, I want to achieve this dream that could be global. So no matter what it is, no matter what it is, look for the three levels of goals, external, internal, and global. When you start to do that and you start to actually sell a little bit more of that internal um, resolution, you're going to have some different results. So that's what I have for you now. Hey, by the way, I've been talking about this. I have a super cool um, interactive live online uh, workshop that I do with uh, companies um, and it's called Captivate. And basically we tear apart your entire marketing strategy and put it back together again so that it's 100% clocked in on your target audience that is the ideal client. So you actually are going after the right one. And then we develop the messaging and, and, and the, the new brand promise and, and the go-to-market strategy and the complete implementation plan, 100-day implementation plan. So if you're interested in that, go to CaptivateSprint, all one word, dot com, CaptivateSprint.com. And uh, otherwise, I will see you next time. Take care.